The amazing Mr. Yager was a phenom for a whole bunch of reasons. From the hair, to the clothes, to the fast car, you're kind of like, wow, this kid is cool. I wish I was that cool when I was his age. It's a hockey night in Pittsburgh. Go on, Nick. <laughs> It's a hockey night in Pittsburgh. It's hockey night in Pittsburgh. <laughs> I worked as a reporter for KDK TV as well as an announcer for the team, so I had requested that I could spend uh, some time with the Armory Yager, and we went to Ross Park Mall, which had recently opened, and I just know that I was there to, to just kind of see how he would react to the culture. What size is that? He doesn't know. He can't speak English. Okay. Paul Steigerwald took him shopping, and all he wanted were blue jeans, and blue jeans jackets. Yeah, it looks nice with the jeans. Yeah, that chambray yeah. and denim looks nice together. Now that'll look great. The thing that struck people most about Yager, though, was his personality. He captivated the city with his youthful, unbridled enthusiasm for America. We want your autograph, too. I like metal. Metal? Metal. Like who? Any bands? Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. And the next thing he did, he bought like a hot rod car. And it was sort of legendary how many speeding tickets he got. How fast will this thing go? How fast? The car? Yeah. Around the 20. <laughs> <laughs> if I want. Have you tried it? Yeah, I tried a couple of times. But don't tell anybody. The one time I got to his car, he said, uh, hey, throw this in the, the glove box. And I popped up with his glove box. He easily had 50 speeding tickets in there. It's just like, it was like a jack in the box. <laughs> it's like, boing. My fun story about Yar, when he hates my fun side of the story, was he managed to get a Trans Am. Three days later, the Trans Am is dead. The deer is dead. He tells me that story and I just crack up. Big Brian, car is dead, deer is dead, everything is dead. Right around the corner there. There he is. Happy birthday, Happy night, guys. And hey, you know what? I, I was just thinking. I know you're on my favorite station. <laughs> <laughs> no more Channel 11. <laughs> Sorry, John Fitko. <laughs> His mother baked sugar buns, and he brought a dozen of these sugar buns down with a glazing on it, with an icing on it, covered with honey. I mean, it's like eating pure sugar to lit me up like Christmas tree. And he ate like eight of them. His uh, spaghetti, he'd sprinkle sugar on top of it with honey, and I'm like, oh, there goes that sugar fix again. Back in the day when all your fan mail came to your locker and boxes and boxes of Kit Kats start arriving, because people find out he likes Kit Kats, that's his favorite American chocolate. Some people send me some Kit Kat. I had, I had over 1,000 Kit Kat home. I eat it all. That's how beloved this guy was. He had a bit of a cult following, almost Elvis-like. He can't get enough ice time, whether it's on his shoes or on his skates. He's the last guy off every day in practice, too. In morning skates, he'd stay out there for an hour. And so it got to a point where we'd have to go and kick him off the ice. You know, the Pittsburgh fan base and the city, they love the athlete that works hard. That's why the fans love him. The first European ever to win an NHL scoring title. Two years in the National Hockey League, two-time champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Art Ross Trophy winner from the Pittsburgh Penguins, it's Yaramir Yager. Yaramir Yager. Yaramir Yager. The amazing Yaramir Yager. One of the most exciting players in the game of hockey, Yaramir Yager. There was the on-ice specialness of this type of player, but also he had a certain persona that was so unique, so different, and just fun. I always tell the story at his birthday party and we had some guys who were married so they didn't go to it and I was single at the time and I went to it. It must have been 900 people. I think it was 875 girls. Happy birthday, Yarmir! Happy birthday, Yarmir! We became very close. We sat on the bus together for five years and he's the only player that a phrase that I use is from a player. Face off one by the Penguins. Lemieux right side to Yager. He shoots and scores! His second goal, 10 Obi Cultural, goes second right to. He smoked him like a bad cigar. He's just one of those guys, you know, every time you saw him, you're smiling. He's dominating the hockey world. You know, he's charismatic. He's just had that attitude. He's a fun loving guy. So everybody kind of bought into that. We brought him in the studio and had him record weather. All these different lines, partly cloudy, partly sunny. It's going to rain. It's windy all in a foreign language that he didn't understand at that time. And now the exclusive WDVE Jeremer Yager weather forecast. Yaromir weather! I'm Yaromir Yager of Pittsburgh Penguins. Today's is weather, change of snow, icy conditions. Today is high temperature, 35 degrees. Tonight is low temperature, 30 degrees. I think it was
great. To see Yarmer enjoy Pittsburgh the way he did, you know, the culture, all that wonderful stuff that Yarmer kind of pulled us all together into that Czechoslovakian world of his, you know, and, and the joy that he had, you know, just didn't ever go away.